Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the second movie of The Garden of Sitters. So, um, alright, so with this movie, because this was like an hour and a minute long and stuff, um, I went ahead and I cut it in like two parts. Still, you'll get the whole movie in one video, like always. Um, I stopped at the 29... Point fifty nine minute mark and then when you get to the second half they're kind of going to repeat like the last little line that they said from the second half of the movie and it shouldn't continue from there and such so just wanted to let you know before we get started but other than that let's go ahead and get started with the first half in three two one go honestly i'm really excited to see like the relationship of shiki and what's his face and so also mainly hoping that he gets a little more like um characterish because you know mm, in the first movie he was just like <laughs> most of the time <sighs> i'm honestly glad i'm watching this now because like I, I wouldn't have been able to do this on wednesday well wednesday morning or night whatever the time i get up well let's say wednesday night Ugh. wednesday afternoon dj It's too quiet. I don't like this. Hmm? Oh, is that him as a kid? No, that's kind of. He just looks the same. He kind of just looks like an older adult, but then he still looks like a teenager. Is that shaky? You just go, uh, hey! Uh, uh. You're just gonna leave. And she have that outfit on fake grand order? As one of her cards. She might kill you. She's pretty though. Do. She's not gonna walk towards you, is she? So hold on, wait, let me say one more thing. So y'all are telling me that the guy with the glasses, he played one of the Hitachi brothers in Oran High School Host Club with his wife. <laughs> anyway, am I right? The saves. Honestly, I think that's really cool that you can just meet your love and trust like in your future without doing something. And of course you're going to go after her. Murder speculation for a shop. There's a part two to this. Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm guessing the part two of this movie ain't until later on. Oh hell no. Nah. She gonna go out and she gonna go kill.
Maybe. Oh, oh shit! Shiki, Shiki, Shiki. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's not Shiki anymore. That's Sheena Boo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one who gave her that idea. That's cute. The little things. Mm. Yeah, there's the jacket! <laughs> Bye, dude. No, just the gore. Once again. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Like, see, I need fate to do a little more glory-ish in this bitch. Because, like, oh my god, yes, let's go. I mean, because the last time they did, like, some gory-ish, you know, it's the Fate Heavensville movies. And then, you know, in UBW when... Gilgamesh did that thing to Aelia, which was, ugh, ugh. Well, <laughs> oh, shit. Why would somebody take arms and legs, though? hasn't been caught. So definitely don't go outside by yourself, but knowing Shinky, she's gonna go outside by herself. I mean, you're right.
Damn, another one already? I mean, do it over here, Kellen. Like, you know, Persona 4-ish. The f Holy crap. Fucking hours, damn. Hmm? Is it the moon? Who the fuck carves a symbol into somebody's body? Are you going to be the Shiki? I mean, not the Shiki. The sh <laughs> I can't even say his damn name right. You going to be the Shinji of this story? There's no way in hell it's Shiki doing that. Why would Shiki want to kill her? Yeah, she was a little weird putting somebody's blood on her lips like some freaking lipstick and ish. But no, I don't think Shiki would harm someone unless she being like possessed when she does it and just doesn't remember. Be like some perfect blue type shit, man. Mm. He's so fucking sweet. Oh my god. Cheeky. Cheeky, you can't say okay, never mind. Oh, watch Rio be the fifth body. Hmm. You can't be going out there again. Which <laughs> you're probably not even gonna remember that you killed someone. Oh shit! There's already another body already. 
Okay, then it ain't Shiki. It ain't Shiki. No, 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 no. She fine. Where's she going though? She kind of scaring me. What you gonna go do? Look at the handiwork. Oh shit. And then out of everywhere, you would be at the fucking scene of the crime. If a fucking police officer came, they would say, oh hey, you did it. Oh, as you're done. Well, damn, Shiki Jesus, don't be a bitch! <laughs> okay. Why didn't her brother inherit it? Where is her brother now? Her brother dead or something? Oh shit, that hurt. So you are getting possessed by another Shiki. What the fuck is going on? Bruh, I thought movie one was crazy as fuck. What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is obvious. <laughs> Why don't you just ask her out on a date? Boy, bullshit. You like Shiki. Oh my god. We know y'all probably gonna end up together by like movie, what, pff, six, seven? Probably the finale movie. Well, I mean, no, that's just a cute moment. Yeah, how do you know that anyway? Have all y'all been tailing her ever since she's gotten to this school?
Yeah, Shiki's just different. <laughs> yeah. Personality. I mean, she's already different because of the fact that she's she's wearing a kimono school, and every oh, and everyone else is wearing like the usual uniforms. Yeah, but Shiki, you're just kind of acting a little different, though. Like, is it she or is it just me? And then think about, like, her. Yeah, there's another Shiki inside me. Look, once again, this ain't Kingdom Hearts. This is not Kyrie inside of Sora bullshit. Like, what the fuck is going on? We got a, a murdering, killing cheeky inside of her, and she just comes out maybe at nighttime. No! Oh, it's so cute. No! Fucking adorable. I'm gonna die. Girl, you got multiple personality disorder or some shit? Yeah, kinda. But the okay, all right. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Was she like that even in the first movie, though? Okay. I mean, you know, Shiki too, I don't know. But why do you want to con have control over her body, though? Oh, excuse me. Day was interesting.
Mm. God damn. Oh, the gore in this movie. I fucking love it. Oh, that's a yin and a yang. Oh, okay. The, the way it looked the first time, it looked like a damn moon. Yeah, I don't think Mickey even knows what it all could mean. Yeah. It, exactly, it doesn't seem like that, but... I mean, but the only thing it seems like it is, that, you know, the murderer is only killing men. Why men? What is that? I told you it was fucking cheeky. Oh my god. But hold on. No, no, no. Wait. She doesn't wear a school uniform. Shiki just wears her kimono. But she maybe has the emblem. I don't know. Maybe it's that one kid that's dropping out of school. I don't think so. Okay, we got like two minutes left. Yeah, and she has shaky. That's all that matters. Maybe because of the fact is, like I said, she doesn't want you to completely take over her mind and her body. A um girl. What about you? I mean, okay, you want to kill somebody? See, I told you, she killed people. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Pause. Okay. All right. All right. Why would Shiki want to kill Shiki though? What What did this Shiki right here, the Shiki that's talking to Miki currently as of right now, what did this Shiki do 
to make our Shiki, the nice looking Shiki, who's still, you know, a bitch though, to want to kill her. I mean, there's a even though we still have a second half of this movie to go, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Now, whoever this murderer is, yes, like the one big thing is from what Miki's older brother, from, um, yeah, his, yeah, older brother, what he found was the school emblem. So somebody, it has to be somebody that's going to their school currently as of right now. Now, I don't think we're going to find out essentially who the murderer is in the second half of this film, but I'm guessing when this, when I get to that second movie, part two of this movie, that's essentially when I'm going to find out who it is, because... It's already weird because Shiki, this Shiki right here, she looks very suspicious. Her sitting here talking about, you know, the one thing that kind of like calms me down or like, you know, brings me down is murder and how she wants to just kill people. Bitch, you're looking a little sus in my opinion. So did you kill those five men secretly? And, you know, leaving all that messages and everything. Did you, like, drop an emblem secretly? Like, bitch, I mean, cause, but you're wearing a kimono. So you should have no school emblem or anything on your clothes, let alone your body. So, I'm mean, like, if it's not you, who is it going to be? It's got to be somebody else who's also going to the same school as them. And, of course, we're not going to know. But, like, I mean, damn, like, whoever is killing these guys, like, holy shit. Once again, I mean, this series is fucking dark. Like, and honestly, I fucking love it. Like, I mean, yeah, Heaven's Field was dark. <laughs> Fate Zero was dark. The first few episodes, especially when that little boy died. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me in the reaction video I did that will never be shown again because, you know, fuck YouTube. Because YouTube is just a bunch of fucking a-holes that I can't, you know, mm, YouTube. But, <laughs> but just, I mean, this series, even though we're only on movie two as of right now, has, like, up the scale and the gore factor to, like, 3,000 or something, because, I mean, th there wasn't as much gore in Fate Zero. Maybe, like, a, kind of a murderous intent, because, you know, you had that one servant who wanted to murder children, and that, that shit was hella fucked up, and when he finally died, that was the best thing about the damn show for the first half, but, I, I mean, it makes me wonder now, okay, since, like, a lot of people have told me that, of course, Rin and Shido and Sakura are not going to make an appearance in this, because... We're technically going back in time, and of course they're not even born yet. Um, will we see like Kirisugu and Iris, um, Ren's dad, maybe Ren's mom, Ren and Sakura's uncle, uh, Kire, um, Shinji's asshole of a grandfather. <laughs> Like, who are we going to see? I mean, there's so many characters that I would like to see in this series before, you know, the situation that happens that leads up to their deaths, I think would be really interesting. I, mm, God, what was his name? I can't remember his name. Oh, my God. Um, da -da 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 Shit, because he gets his own spinoff as well. Because, uh, da -da -da -da, oh, my God. The Master of Iskandar. Is he going to show up? I mean, because, like, that would kind of make the most sense. He would be maybe either like a kid going on a teenager, a teenager, because by the time we see him, he's in college. I don't know. What we'll find out. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the second half of the movie. Okay, part two and three, two, one, go. But why is that? Because does she not want people to see the weak side of her? I mean, no matter what, like either side that, you know, she has, she seems like a very strong girl. Hmm? Oh, you regular Shiki? likes you it's so obvious i just don't think you recognize it yourself it's because you like her like what the fuck 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think we all understand that, boo-boo, but it's okay. He still love you. But you know he's still going to associate with you no matter what because he loves you. L l let's look at movie one for an existence. Why? Oh. Oh, no, that was from your dad, right? Time out. Time out. So you really be out here killing? Hey, you, you need to... Nine... Nine one one. Nine one one. Call <laughs> I know who did it. It's the girl I'm in love with. What damn. I'm about to probably have a seventh victim soon. Well, because, you know, his quote-unquote girlfriend, not yet, a little suspicious. Shit. Did you match the DNA to someone? Hey, you need to. Oh my god. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Are you serious? Hey, yo. I'm... Oh my god. You probably not gonna make it in time, ain't you? <laughs> she out killing. Oh shit! What if he's the next victim? Oh fuck! Damn, they like back. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, because it might be a premonition about you possibly getting killed. I mean... To shake, you can't shake that feeling, but like something might happen to you by the end of this, but then you might end up coming alive again because Shiki might do some shit. She could be anywhere by now. It's too fucking quiet, even though it's just the sound of his footsteps. A. Mm -mm. Oh! 
Oh? Get the fuck up. Oh, fuck. She here. Don't trust that smile. just walked up to the body. Well, I mean, he has, but you know, he, because I think he loves her so much that he's not going to, um, essentially rot her out. It might be really hilarious in the second movie if they pin it on somebody else and she continues to do murders after. Oh, of course, because they're waiting up until your ass leaves. Oh, but it does. But damn, you want to turn your lights off or something? He's still there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. It is a fool in love. He's okay.
Not even going to say hi to each other? Okay. Because he loves you when he wants to protect you. Oh, you, boy, Mickey, you walked to the scene of the crime. The head was cut off. You saw the blood spewing. Excuse me. I mean, you know, the decency that she could do is just, like, invite him in. It's cold outside. He might get sick. But, no, she's just standing outside just looking at him. But we know you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she did. Honestly, he is. <laughs> but he loves you. He's just a fool in love.
I don't like the way that this is going. She about to do something. Don't put your back towards her. See, she walking up to you. Uh-uh. Aw, shit. Get out. Oh, she made you bleed. That was a warning. Next time, she's not going to be so nice. Do not trip and fall, I swear to God. God damn it. Didn't they just say don't? Well, you gotta go, 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 keep going, bro. Because, you know, we know you're not going to die. But mm, you, you just don't want to get stabbed by this crazy bitch. You know, we still like her. But, ooh, she, mm-mm. This hook is crazy. <laughs> like, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, she is right. Oh my god. Cheeky. Don't do this. You won't be able to see him again. Hmm? Are you crying? Please, like, goddamn, do you, do you really want to die? You one crazy bitch? I mean, okay. But don't kill him. Nah, you love him. We know he ain't gonna die because he's still alive! And yeah, and they're working together!
We got seven minutes left. How the fuck is this movie gonna end? Okay. <laughs> But she's eventually going to get out of the hospital, right? I mean, she has to, especially with what the fuck happened in the first movie. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the... the girl the chick from the first movie who Shiki ended up defeating to wake up and stuff and eventually she kills herself by the end of the movie what I'm so confused right now what the heck is going on how do you jump from like to the point where these two were Shiki and Piki were teenagers then we go to the point of movie one but then it also said June 1998 what the hell is going on but then he was like in 1995 I met her aka the girl who killed herself in movie one what the fuck is going on I'm so confused what the hell the, the, okay so d it makes you wonder just now is part two when we get to that movie is that going to be taken at the same time when these two were teenagers and such I, I understand on why she wants to she keep wants to kill Miki so much but at the same time I don't I'm still a little confused on that um but we know that she's not going to kill them because we've seen them in movie one together eating ice cream and by the end of movie one he's finally woken up so <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that's all I have to say. But honestly, this movie, what I liked about this movie more than movie one, because movie one was was beautiful, like dead ass. This told more of the relationship of Miki and Shiki, because as someone who's coming into the first movie and you see him relatively like in the first few minutes when he's like awake and alive and everything. And then for the majority of the first film, he's just he's sleep he's not saying anything because of the fact is of what chick did to him so you don't really necessarily see him or hear him speak until like the last few minutes of the movie and to see the relationship of these two to see that he is like head over heels in love with her and will honestly do everything to protect her. I mean, hell, he lied to the police for her and said that he saw no murderer there, but just the body. Dude, you almost got attacked. Like, not even that, almost killed by your quote-unquote girlfriend, even though technically, like, I mean, would we consider them already officially a couple as of right now? I mean, Jesus Christ, this chick. We, okay, this is how we're going to do it. Normal Shiki is just going to be called Shiki. And the other Shiki, we're going to call her Evil Shiki. Evil Shiki is one fucked up bitch. Like, oh my god. But it's like, why? Because like, okay, the body thing that Evil Shiki was talking about, regular Shiki. I just, I think the reason why... Our Shiki that we know and love doesn't want her body to be overtaken by evil Shiki is because maybe because of the fact that she doesn't think that she's going to be the same person uh, again. And of course not, because evil Shiki is a cold-blooded murderer. This took this much to kill, like, umpty people. So then it now makes me wonder, in movie one, is she normal Shiki or is she evil Shiki? 
I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Like, you you can't just leave me hanging like this and expect me to be like, okay, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for movie three. Even though you are going to see me next week for movie three. I, I mean... I didn't know what to expect with this movie, but honestly, I really enjoyed it because I really wanted to know what the relationship was like of Miki and Shiki. And even though this is just the beginning, whatever the heck is going to happen in the part two of this movie, I, I mean, like, oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this series? Oh, my God. It can't get any worse than this, but something tells me it is. Is this supposed to be Keto talking? No, 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 no. Stop it, Cody. No, you cannot do that. You can't do that. No. Oh, okay, never mind. What the f Oh, her eyes are shining as shakies. What the fuck? I don't know. You see it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, you, you can't, you, okay, alright, that little bit before the preview to the next movie, what the fuck does that mean? Was that Kide talking in the background? Because it, it sounded like him, and whatever it means, I'm guessing it's not coming into like later on with the movies because I'm like, from the preview for movie three, it, it's going to take place like when they're, you know, for movie, I'm guessing movie, okay, how do I know? If I can look at the chronological order of like movie one, two, and three, I'm guessing like movie two would be the first movie. Uh, movie one would be the second and maybe movie three might be the third I'm guessing so because the, I'm guessing the chronological and almost the other way to possibly understand this is to watch it in chronological order even though I'm, I'm watching it in a completely different order and that's okay I think that's like the right way I think everybody officially wants me to watch it's kind of almost very similar um to when I watched the Monogatari series and I was like okay somebody in a video said watch it all like this and everybody was like no 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 watch it all like that and so I ended up watching it like that to understand but at the same time I was confused and that's what it seems like with this series so I already kind of know that when I do finish this in the up and coming weeks when we get there because I haven't had time to watch two movies at once because I've been busy as fuck um I think the next time I can probably watch movie three today is officially now Wednesday probably Thursday because the only thing that I have is zombie land saga but I still have to also edit this so I don't really know um but this movie like I said it was interesting to see them both as teenagers and you know especially in the date that they had to just be teenagers for once even though it's just normal Shiki and Miki just talking together and hanging out and becoming like buddy buddy with each other was very interesting because in the first movie, like I said, he barely has a little bit of screen time and he doesn't really, he talks like very little to none. So when I first saw him, I was like thinking he was going to become this big important character just as much as Shiki and What's-Her-Face. But at the same time, 
um once i got deeper deeper into movie one i was like okay no never mind you were to I, I, like there was a moment of time where and i didn't say this last week so i'm gonna say it now where i kind of felt like nikki was going to be our resident damsel in distress character except you know he's not a female he's a male but it seems like i'm guessing with the next movie or movies he's probably going to step up as more i mean i get the fact is yes he wants to protect shiki no matter what but it's like damn like shiki could do her own shit what the fuck else can you do besides wanting to protect her and so i hope and pray that like movies three to eight he gets a little bit more of like being his own character because as of right now you're just a guy who really loves Shiki and cares about her and will do anything for her so I'm hoping that he becomes a little more of a better character I mean he is a very interesting character don't get me wrong but when you have two other females who will have way interesting backstories than you something about that's like a little messed up and I know somebody's gonna dislike that because of what I just said but it's just when you're looking at it through like my eyes or maybe even someone else's eyes and the way um he's being portrayed of course it seems like okay you're not gonna get as much screen time even though he is it's interesting to see like his POV of Shiki but then it makes you wonder at the same time are we ever gonna get like a moment of her POV of him I mean like shit <laughs> <laughs> this bitch crazy I, I just now like the biggest thing i also want to ask is older shiki um present day shiki that's what we'll also call her right now with present day shiki does she still possibly go back and forth between her regular shiki and the evil shiki as well is, is that because like her eyes change color or something because i never really asked about the blue eyes in movie one so i want to go ahead and like question that now what exactly are the blue eyes for and such is that going to be something that's going to be a little major focus in the third movie or sent something i don't know but you know i gotta wait and find out and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards movie two of garden of sinners if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys next friday for movie two btw just in case because i am like uber busy sometimes um, if I don't get movie three out by the following Friday, the after this movie comes out on um, this week, if it doesn't come out next Friday, just wait for the following Friday because I don't know. I'm trying to do some other things and get some other shit done and it is it's very hectic and stressful at times and so sometimes I never know when I'm able to record something. So just in case I want to go ahead and say that now because I don't want it to be like here's the first two movies and the movie three doesn't come out and then people are commenting saying like are you dropping the show or the movies are you done and ish just know that if movie three doesn't come out the following friday just know i, be, I was a little too busy to record it and i will record it and give it to you the following friday but until then i will see you guys all next time bye